Hey folks, welcome to the crime show. Yep, we've got a crime podcast. So um, pop over there if you're not if you're not already on there. This podcast goes out on a few different ones. So um, depending on where you hear it, it's called For the Love of Crime, and I'm featuring loads of crime books. Anyway, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm going to talk about my job, which is um, creating music and sound effects. Sound effects are these days a little bit overlooked I think um, when people are creating mood people tend to go for music because it's very easy to create music isn't it and once you've got a bit of a um, a, a moody lick it can be the sort of go-to but actually sound effects are equally important if not more important I mean I'm saying this as a musician so it hurts a bit um, I mean I use both so you know layering a sound effect with a piece of music but the the thing about when you're storytelling, you're doing a live performance or a live reading, um, music can be a, a little bit distracting. But also, if you really want to give that sense of um, impending doom, it overla- this overlaps with horror as well. If you want to give that feeling, quite often it's quite a good idea just to pull the music right back. No music whatsoever. and um, And then introduce something like a drum heartbeat or a breathing pulse. Do you see what I mean? Something like that. Um, But anyway, I've got some tips for you. Now, you can make a lot of these things with free stuff on the internet. The thing that I do, which I've always found quite useful, is if there's a a storm or a certain weather condition or or perhaps something drilling outside or any of these things, I just record it on my iPad, and the iPad records very well. I do these broadcasts on an iPad. So it's really, really useful. A lot of phones are really good as well. So, you know, you don't need loads of fancy equipment. It would be lovely, wouldn't it, to go out with a boom mic into the middle of a volcano, and <laughs> a volcano rather, and, you know, record it. These that, that would be the dream, I think, for a sound engineer. But, you know, if you live in a little village like I do, that's not practical at all. But if you build up a catalogue and you just have it in your Logic Pro, you can put these into Logic Pro or, um, you know, whatever app you're using. Just store them and have a file where you shove all your sound recordings as they come up. And you'll find after a few years you've got, you know, you've probably got a hundred. I mean, you're not going to cover cover every, every eventuality. Of course you're not. That's not, you're not going to be that lucky. Um, so crime. I'm all about crime this weekend. It's a, it's a Sunday crime day. I mean, and it's about immersing a listener, isn't it? Um, crime is dark and suspenseful. When we think of things happening to us, because humans have a natural um, propensity to be, to be more alert. Well, when it's dark, of course, all the hormones react and you, you become sleepy. But when it's dark, you're blind and that's very frightening, very, very frightening. So, you know, you want to immerse. So even if it's broad daylight, you want to make the feeling of dark eeriness, um, certainly eeriness. Um, you'll see quite often, when you when you get into this stuff, you'll notice on films the the editor might introduce a shadow, even if it is the middle of the day, just to give that impending doom feeling do you see what I mean um you might see in filmmakers that the the editor has changed the color a bit just brought it down um maybe brought up the blues or or the reds or something you know done something with the colorization just to give that kind of feeling um so yeah let's have let's have a little look down I've done a blog this morning um, on iceverland.com if you want to read all this so footsteps perfect absolutely perfect footsteps running or slow or whatever depending on your story are really really useful especially if the the person the protagonist if you know whoever whatever the scene's about can't see who it is and especially if it's coming from behind I mean this is very frightening stuff <laughs> and crime is all about hello darling come on then oh hit the mic yeah crime is all about suspense and the unexpected a good crime story 
doesn't isn't too predictable, okay? You can't really say too predictable, can you? I mean, you want people guessing, but you don't want them knowing, okay? So, you know, the dim, dimly lit alley. I mean, this goes for writing a, a book as well. If you describe sounds when you're writing a story, that's the same as having the actual sound when you're listening to an audio book. Do you see what I mean? Um, doors opening and closing, creaking, slamming, you know, it depends where, who, why, what, when. Um, but, you know, especially if somebody's trapped, that's giving that sense of entrapment. Uh, you you heightening the listener's or the reader's awareness that they're in danger and that something untoward is going to occur to their personage. So, um so for more intense um, sound effects, you know, gunshots and reloads are the, are the go-to if, there's, if you're using guns in your storyline. Um, and these can be actually what I've done before. I, I use a lot of gunshot in a lot of my music and ricochet, not for gun scenes. There, You know, I'm not writing about guns. Um, I'm, I'm a sci-fi writer generally. Um, so, you know, your the mind still hears a gunshot but doesn't quite know what it is when you mix it with music. And I use, I mean, I've used helicopters in my music. I've used my cat meowing because he's always meowing when I'm trying to record something. So I've had a series of meows in my arsenal as well, which are actually really good for crime too, but any sort of um, tense situation a cat crying is particularly useful, but also in music. Um, you know, in Logic Pro, you can just upload... You can actually upload files and store them with all your other loops. You can do that in Logic Pro, so that's quite a useful thing to know. You can keep all your sound effects there. Logic Pro I, um, ch- uh, I loops. Um, what am I talking about? Apple loops aren't particularly great on sound effects, but if you do search the Apple loops... Um, for sound effects, you will find kind of um, sound effects that are quite useful. So if you put in a sound effect like heartbeat, it'll come up with um, audio that's somehow indicative of a heartbeat. Do you see what I mean? Some sound effects, they've got lots more than others. They've got quite a lot of water ones, bubbles, waterfalls, etc., etc. They're really useful for that. Um, I think... You know, if you want a pure sound effect, you you wouldn't go to Apple Loops. It would, you know, Apple Loops about music really, but you will find some stuff there. Um, and remember, you can da- you. I'm always deleting my Apple Loops because they take up a lot of space on my laptop, but you can always download them again. Now there are, there are a couple of sites actually. Um, I've got them on the blog. Voli Network, storyblocks.com, lots of tips and things. Um, you can quite often get free stuff, but you can also get, you, you can end up paying quite a bit. If you go somewhere like Pond5, you'll find you can get some very good sound effects actually on Pond5, very appropriate. But, you know, you're probably going to have to pay for membership, but they do give free ones. Pond5 do have sort of weekly free stuff that they give away. So if they know that you're interested in in um, opening an account, it's free to open an account, and um, they will message you with with stuff, and you can uh, make sure you get those updates. You see what I mean? Um, so sirens, police radios, absolutely imperative if you're writing a dicta- uh, di- dictator novel, uh, a private investigator type novel, or a police audio book, anything like that. So uh, quite often they're useful just to have in the backgrounds. You know, even if the the police aren't on their way, but you've got that in the background somehow, especially in a town, a city, a busy city, you know, you'd all, you'd hear a lot of sirens. You And what that, you might not even know that you're hearing it because it's sort of at the back, but what it's telling the viewers, this is a place where there's a crime. Do you see what I mean? Um, Rain and Thunder, another one which I use a lot when I'm doing horror stories. 
um, little horror shorts. And what's really useful is if you use something like Spreaker, the Spreaker app, you can upload your effects. Um, I mean, I've, I've got effects here. What's this one? Let's see. <laughs> But it's uh, a sound effect anyway. I, I hope you did hear it. I couldn't hear it, so um, apologies. Um, phone rings and dial tones. I'm going to hurry through these now because I've talked for too long. Um, absolute classic. I mean, even if you're doing uh, a non-crime story, you'll find when you watch these sort of uh, stories on TV, there's a lot of phones in the background. Um, it, it suggests busyness, it suggests that things are happening, it's, it suggests activity. Heartbeats and breathing we already covered, I think. Um, ambience, distant traffic, we've sort of talked a bit about that. The hum of a city night. Again, if you just pop to town or to a city, the next time you're in London, you know, just get your recording device out and just stand there and record 60 seconds of, of the hub. And and you'll find it's so useful and it's it's more useful than, you know, someone else's recording. Now, you can get recordings that are particular to countries. So there are sites that, you know, people are uploading stuff for free and they've, you know, you've got a, a cafe in Spain or a German street and you, you can hear the, the people talking in German. And th those are so useful and I have used those before. Um, crime scene sounds, so police tape flapping in the wind, forensic investigators collecting evidence, or the buzz of fluorescent lights in an interrogation room. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And do you know another one that I really like? The fly hitting the fluorescent light, or the moth hitting the lamp. And even if you're not doing the actual audio of this, if you're describing it, you know, a moth hit the, hit the lampshade. The... You know, that was so useful for a writer, um, that sense of repetition, that sense of not getting anywhere, that sense of uselessness. You know, that would really work in an interrogation scene, wouldn't it? Um, so finally, music, eerie and dramatic music. I mean, underscore the moments that, you know, when if somebody's murdered, when it happens, the music could really define that moment. I mean, you wouldn't want a comedy sketch. Um, you know, you you wouldn't want funny, amusing music when someone was being strangled. You'd want probably something discordant or the strings going crazy or, you know, you'd really think about it. Um, now, I'm going to do some uh, music programmes in a bit this afternoon. So um, I'll find some special effects for you guys and um, I'll upload them. And you should be able to download those as well. So I'm I'm really getting into this kind of storytelling mood and it's so good for anyone who makes audio podcasts story you know tells stories F perhaps you you want to you know sell your stories as as audio books and you want to read them but you want sound effects like the old you know the radio s stations used to do that a lot they don't seem to do it quite so much anymore and you've got your bits of wood to bang together for your footsteps and all of that. Or is it co uh, coconuts for um, horses? And I might do a little write-up in a minute, actually, with um, good ways to get sound, side, sound effects. I will, I will. I'll do that now because it's so exciting, isn't it? It makes you want to go and do something. I mean, this is great for kids as well. If you've got kids and you want to create something, um, you know, even if it's something simple like a nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up the hill, you know. <sighs> you could you see what I mean, the panting. You could do all these um, really interesting little illustrations, audio illustrations. Um, absolutely fantastic, super fun. So I hope you like that, guys. And, um, yeah, come back in, in a bit um, and we'll be doing the sound effects um, on, on Logic Pro in the recording studio.